hello and welcome back to the another video of the java tutorial series so this is the uh, continuation to our project uh, banking application and this is the third video i guess of the series of the project okay so in this uh, video uh, we will be discussing about the functionality which is withdraw and the get previous transaction so we will be implementing the two methods so for the one method is for the withdraw and one method is for the get previous transactions okay so i hope you have watched the previous videos where we will be uh, implemented our deposit fun method and now in this video we will be covering our withdraw and get previous transaction functionality okay so okay before getting into code uh, think about it uh, whenever i want to withdraw some money from my account what changes and first of all what i required uh, as the input to this method okay so let's think about it so for this i will be requiring one amount that is the amount of money that i want to withdraw from the, my account so the amount is the uh, parameter which we will be passing to the withdraw functions and again one base condition should be there okay uh, so think about it uh, one what what will be the base condition again the same base condition uh, like we have done uh, for the deposit method that is amount should not be equal to the zero because deposit depositing the zero rupees or the zero dollars from an account doesn't make any sense okay so we will be implementing that also and i guess this is a bit, pretty much stuff that we have we want to do inside the withdraw function okay so let's just get and implement this withdraw method okay since our uh, method is doesn't re uh, returning anything uh, that's why the return type should be void uh, void re void is the return type uh, there are many return types such as int uh, char strings are there uh, so our method is doesn't returning anything it it is just performing some uh, basic math calculation and it will returning some value to the user okay uh, not value it is performing some task okay so withdraw i will name this as withdraw and as we have discussed it will uh, accept one parameter name as amount amount of money that we have to withdraw from our account okay and again one of our base condition should be base condition should be there that my amount should not be equals to the zero if it is equal to zero that doesn't make any sense okay and inside this uh, I will update my balance because after uh, withdrawing some money, my uh, when that amount, that much amount of money should be uh, directed from my balance, uh, that for my account balance. Okay, so balance minus amount. Okay, and uh, after that, I I also have to update my previous trans transaction as amount. Okay, the minus amount okay so i guess this is pretty much that we have to do inside the withdraw functionality and after that we will be performing another functionality that is get previous transaction so this i have writing the previous transaction previous transaction we have to implement that method inside this class name as bank account okay and so since previous get previous transaction it uh, doesn't uh, return anything so that's why i will write void as the uh, return type and i will write get previous transaction okay uh, wait guys okay so sorry for the interruption guys okay so where we are avoid get previous transaction okay so this method uh, doesn't require any parameters and uh, uh, doesn't return anything okay so inside this i will uh, write one if condition if my previous transaction value is greater than zero okay uh, when the uh, value will be uh, well of the present previous transaction will be greater than uh, zero when we have done any deposit of in our account okay so in that case i will print deposited and i will concat it with previous transactions value okay and uh, again 
one else if condition should be there uh, to check else if my the value of the previous transaction is less than zero in that case uh, one withdraw uh, means one withdraw should be there for my account so in that case i will write uh, sorry withdrawn withdrawn the amount should be there and one thing i will do here is math dot abstract okay and uh, i will pass it the value of the previous transaction so you'll ask me what we have done here what is this math dot abstract and we are passing uh previous transaction value to it okay so uh, this is a in inbuilt uh, class inside the java uh, so here you can if you hover over the cursor over here you can see java dot lang uh, lang is a uh, package inside which math class is there and one uh, abs abs method should be there inside that math class if you if i click here and here you can see public static int abs so what this uh, method uh, does it will accept one parameter okay so as you here you can see it is accepting one parameter which is integer a and it is returning something uh, in int format okay so what it does is uh, since the value of the previous transaction is less than zero that is a negative one uh, like minus something known as minus 50 or yes minus 400 so we don't want this uh, values to be reflected in our console because negative values should not be there inside any account okay so we are doing this match.abstract function and it will convert that negative value inside the positive it to its corresponding positive value that is equal to uh, it will convert the minus 50 as 50 and uh, minus 400 as 400 okay so this is the work of the max dot abstracts abstract function okay or method uh, then here i will write else if both the condition will not get satisfied in that case i will write no transaction is occurred no transaction is occurred okay so I guess this is pretty much about the previous transaction method where we will checking if the value is greater than zero. That is a deposit deposit uh, method is getting run inside our uh, application, and uh, if the value is less than zero, that is withdraw is done inside our uh, bank account. And if nothing, none of this uh, statement get executed, then else will execute it and it will show that no transaction is occurred inside our account. Okay. So this is pretty much about the withdraw and uh, get previous function or the method. I will see you in the next video well, where we will be covering the next functionality that is the show menu for our project. So thank you guys for watching this video.